Armadillo. This is a pretty serious film, so I'm not really going to be making any jokes in this review, just so you know. You international audiences have probably, hopefully, heard of this film. It's a Danish documentary. I think it won an award at Cannes. Thus far it looks like it's only going to be playing for a few days at my cinema, but they did just double the amount of times it's going to be shown. So hopefully a lot of people will get to watch it. The title of the documentary comes from the Armadillo Base in the Helmand province of Afghanistan. It houses 170 Danish and British soldiers and they're fighting the Taliban. It takes place over the first six months of last year, meaning 2009. And the main focus is on a handful of new recruits going to this base. We're briefly introduced to them before they leave and after that we see their exploits on and around the base. We see them enjoying themselves, we see them bored, we see them reflect, we hear them express a desire to help and also reveal that part of it is you know the excitement of combat and we see them engage in combat as well. I honestly have a hard time imagining that the cameramen were always safe and on that I have to say this has some of the best photography I've ever seen in my life and not just for a documentary. Whether the subject is right in front of them or you know a hundred meters away beautifully captured every single time. The editing is absolutely perfect the score is well composed and always fits Returning to the camera work and the chances they took, they really don't hold anything back in this. They captured footage of everything they could. And the beauty of it is, because of the form, because it's non-fiction, it's objective. They simply let the facts speak for themselves. I would argue that it is very, very difficult to accuse this of being manipulative or having a clear agenda. Whenever someone expresses emotion, they seem to have captured it and put it into the film. It doesn't feel like we're being led to side with or against anyone. Every word spoken that isn't in Danish is either subtitled or translated by an interpreter. They use some lingo in this, but every time we hear a new term, we get an explanation in subtitle form. We see these young people dealing with their situation using dark humor as well as pornography. I would say this has a lot to say about the human psyche. At times, the film is funny, intentionally so, but mostly it's pretty hard-hitting and tough to watch. I watched this with my father and he and I agreed that you need a certain level of empathy to be able to understand it and appreciate it. If anyone is wondering, this documentary really isn't about the action. While there are sequences showing them in combat, I would say it's really just part of showing what they experience on and around the base, and I can imagine that the ratio of combat to other activities in the film is pretty close to how it is in reality, meaning percent-wise it takes up as much of the film as percent-wise it takes up uh, of their overall experiences during their time there. I urge anyone who believes that they have the empathy and the maturity to fully grasp the documentary to go watch it as soon as you can. That was my spoiler free review. I hope you found it informative.